The people of Manchester showing they are stronger than those trying to disrupt them. We wanted to invite to the show a friend of our show, Rick Adams. He is both a U.S. and U.K. citizen, and I can imagine it has been uh, a time of a very heavy heart for you as well, Rick. I'm curious how people there are reacting and handling this. We saw there in Manchester, but throughout the country. What are you seeing? Hi, Michaela. Yeah, it's, it's, it is a sad time for this country, and it's, it's, it's appalling to have witnessed that, to see that through wherever you were in the country, it touched you in some way. And, and uh, the Mancunians, as they're known, Man the Manchester people, they're a stoic great people. They really are amazing, and they've overcome great losses over the years. Uh, and, and if you really want to know what being a Brit is, it's being a Mancunian, because they're kind of the backbone of our country, you know? Hmm. I love hearing that, uh, and I love getting a little insight into uh, how the locals call them. We know the reality is while the grieving and the mourning and the support for one another goes on in the backdrop of that, the, the security level has been increased. The terror threat has been increased to critical. And while I know Brits have a stiff upper lip and all that kind of mentality, what does that mean and how is it affecting day-to-day -day life there? Well. I grew up in the 80s, and so that was when the troubles in Ireland were happening were affecting the UK mainland. There was a lot of terrorism here, and most Brits are used to it. it it's something that's part of our life, part of our DNA in a way. So, so we are prepared for, for those things to happen, but really not, because how can you prepare for, for something that is unpreparable? You just have this nature of, of stoic nature that, that, that the Brits have, and I suppose yeah, that's where the stiff upper lip comes in to a degree. And I suppose that's where you can see a bit of a difference on how people react, because you've spent a lot of time living here in the United States as well, and you've seen how uh, Americans have reacted. We all remember all too well uh, how people came together after 9-11, that city of New York and the rest of the country really sort of pausing to understand that we are one and we must stand in solidarity together. But have you seen a difference in how... Brits have been have been dealing with and, and proceeding post an attack like this uh, the, the, compared to uh, our, your American counterparts? I think that there's a lot of similarities, obviously. But, you know, the interesting thing is, like, New Yorkers in 9-11 and the Brits here, that there's a, a thin veneer that separates our emotions, you know. Uh, with Brits, mm -hmm. you can... We seem that stiff up a little we talked about, but, but it, with, a, with New Yorkers, it's, it's kind of aggression, but then underneath it, there's this great sensitivity. And I think that's what we're seeing here. Um, the comparisons are, are very real, and something we share is something you say in England, which is Dunkirk spirit, which 77 years ago this week happened on the beaches in France, where British troops were trapped and they couldn't escape, and a flotilla of hundreds of boats from ordinary people came and rescued these people, 300,000 troops. Um, and that's really what, in essence, happened in Manchester. It's the same thing, people coming together, helping each other, the selflessness of it. A, a homeless person, Chris Parker, diving into the arena to help save others. Uh, you know, Paula Robinson, who managed to grab dozens of children and take them to a hotel, what they were doing was this Dunkirk spirit. They, were, they had this ability to just come together and to work hard together to create something better in the face of something which is monstrous. And I think that is the through line. We've all got a bit of this Dunkirk spirit in us. And, and this, if you just do a count in your life, there's more good people in your life than bad. Absolutely. And you know that if something bad happened, we'd all be there for each other. And that Dun Dunkirk spirit is what keeps us all together and, and, and really is what joins us as a nation. And, and that's really what being British is all about here. And you know what joins us as a world, and that's what uh, uh, those that want to do us harm have underestimated, is the power of love is far, far stronger. Rick Adams, I thank you. I thank you for this. We appreciate it.